Well, this morning it is feeling pretty nice. No big surprise after how warm it was yesterday. Temperature did climb to 98 in St. George. Uh, otherwise, uh, a lot of valleys were in the mid 80s to low 90s. In Salt Lake, we peaked at 92, which put us pretty close to our average high temperature for this time of year. Our average low is 65, and we're starting out above that. It's currently 71 in Salt Lake, mid 50s in Logan, low 60s currently in Moab, as well as uh, Milford. And a little bit farther south, temperature is currently 73 degrees in St. George. Now, we've got a few stray showers that popped up along the Idaho border earlier this morning. Otherwise, uh, just a few clouds in the far north, but fair skies across the majority of the state. With the weather pattern that really hasn't changed much yet, there's still a southwesterly flow uh, that's not only keeping it warm and dry, but also pushing a lot of the smoke from western wildfires to the north of Utah. Some of those clipping the northwest corner of the state where it's going to be uh, the most widespread. Otherwise, in Salt Lake City today, after starting out with good air quality, it'll become moderate later on. Still sunny, breezy with a high temperature that'll climb up to 90. So it'll feel a lot like yesterday. Upper 70s in Park City, mid 80s in Blanding, 99 in St. George. Sunshine statewide uh, with, again, the best chance of smoke in the far north, northwest Utah, possibly filling in a little bit more in the western part of the state later in the day and then becoming more likely across other parts of the viewing area tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, it'll continue to heat up in the south with the temperature in St. George climbing up to 103 by Friday, and it'll stay that way over the weekend. And for northern Utah, it's going to be sunny tomorrow with patchy smoke. We'll still make it into low 90s, but then as the storm brushes by to our north, uh, Wednesday night and Thursday, slightly cooler air moves in. Uh, the westerly flow develops, and that will allow more smoke to become more widespread, and that cool air will knock the temperature down into the mid-80s by the weekend, which is a little bit below average for this time of year, but still pretty comfortable.